program normally seen at this time will not be seen, so we may bring you the Tower of Terror special. Hello again, everybody. I'm Al Keck at the Disney MGM Studios here at Walt Disney World, home of Disney's brand new thrill ride, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, opening later this month. It's a new dimension in high-tech attractions, where the thrill is a 13-story drop down an elevator shaft. You've heard about it, you've read about it, now it's time for you to see it up close and personal with a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. My co-host is Kirk Cameron. He'll be our guide, so stick around, have a pad and pencil handy, because later on, I'll be back to tell you how you can win free passes to Disney MGM Studios and be one of the first from the Tampa Bay area to experience the elevator ride of your life. Sunset Boulevard, the past lives here. In the studio sound stages and movie palaces, in the stately mansions of movie land royalty, a glittering ribbon of dreams, a fantasy of light and shadow. Yes, Hollywood has its dark side too. Consider the Hollywood Tower Hotel, a legendary fallen star, its elegant silhouette casts a shadow that stretches to us across the generations. What dark secrets lie beyond its doors, in the dusty hallways, in the empty rooms? You'll soon know, for we're all about to enter. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Hi, I'm Kirk Cameron. And this isn't Hollywood. It's the Disney MGM Studios at Walt Disney World in Florida. I'm here to check out Disney's newest, fastest, strangest thrill ride, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. The Twilight Zone. Na, 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 na. I just love that show, and the Disney people have just opened a brand new attraction. It's a white knuckle screamer that throws the doors of the fifth dimension wide open, and it drops you, like a rock, from the 13th floor straight into your worst nightmare. The whole thing is set up like an episode of The Twilight Zone, only this time, you're the star. I absolutely love it, and I'm gonna show you how they did it. Walt Disney World, Florida, the making of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, opening July 22nd. Now, just relax, Marcia, and tell me what you see. Well, Doctor, I mm. see a woman lying on the beach. Interesting. She appears very relaxed, mm -hmm. enjoying the moment. Anything else? Yes, she's drinking a Diet Coke. Where? There. No, 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 Marcia. Diet Coke doesn't come in a bottle that shape. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It does, too. Does Introducing not. Diet Coke in a bottle that shape. When you see it, get it. Marvel at the car that never needs gas. Check it out. Play the most Sega games anywhere. Watch a TV Whoa. larger than your living room. See a bathroom that cleans itself in the home of the future. Talk on a phone you wear on your wrist. You'll never guess where we're calling you from. <laughs> Fly on virtual reality. Try a thousand new inventions that will change your life forever. Innoventions at Epcot 94. Your future is too much fun to wait for. Now let me make sure I have this straight. Yeah? We can buy anything over $300 and take 12 months to pay? Yeah. No interest for one whole year. No interest. So anything in the store, furniture, appliances, electronics? As long as it's over $300, no interest for 12 months. Even if I bought something like a big screen TV? Well... Now you can buy from Roberts and take up to 12 months, an entire year to pay, with 0% interest. Now they've got my interest. Low prices, great service, nobody beats Roberts.
tour guide into the fifth dimension, Kirk Cameron. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. We are in the lobby of the legendary Hollywood Tower Hotel. No one has set foot in this place since one bizarre night more than 50 years ago when something unexplainable happened. It was way back in 1939, back when Hollywood was really something to sing hooray about. It was the golden age when Tinseltown worked hard and partied even harder. It was the year of some of Filmland's greatest classics like Wuthering Heights, Gone with the Wind, and The Wizard of Oz. The film community lived the good life. And the good life never got better than at the elegant, some might say decadent, Hollywood Tower Hotel. That is until one dark, rainy Halloween night. A freakish lightning storm seemed to hang the tinsel on Tinseltown. Anyone who was anyone was partying at the hotel, none of them suspecting what ominous fate lay ahead. Legend has it that when those five people stepped into that elevator, it took them up to the 13th floor. Pretty strange for a hotel with only 12 floors. When lightning struck, the awesome power of that mysterious force blew out an entire wing of the hotel and sent the elevator plummeting at an incredible speed. Five unsuspecting guests vanished into the unknown. Somewhere along the way, those five unfortunate souls left the elevator and entered the twilight zone. Anyway, they closed the hotel that night. Now, some people say the spirits of those five people still walk the eerie hotel corridors to this day. Others say the bellman survived. But come on, <laughs> you saw that thing fall. I mean, nobody could survive that. But it was a great story, and Disney thought it was a great story, too. In fact, it was so incredible, they recreated the Hollywood Tower Hotel brick by brick here at the Disney MGM Studios, just to plunge you into an experience that would last a few terrifying moments, but feel like an eternity. The decision to build a thrilling state-of-the-art attraction of this magnitude came from Michael Eisner, the head of the Walt Disney Company. Our parks, our concepts, our movies are not for children, and they're not just for adults, they're for everybody. And even though this is a monumental thrill ride, it is one that you feel totally safe and that you have a more than just a thrill experience. You have the intellectual experience of going into the Twilight Zone. An attraction like the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror doesn't just appear from out of nowhere. There's a large group of talented, dedicated people whose job it is to come up with rides and attractions that are more thrilling, terrifying, bigger, faster, scarier than any others in the entire world. They let their imagination and test their engineering skills to the limits. That's actually how they got their name. You see, they took the words imagination and engineering and combined them to form one easy to remember word. Engine imager Asians. Image engineer aiders. Asian imaginations. Imagineers. This very special group bears the Disney name, and that's a lot to live up to. Walt Disney Imagineering has a long tradition of combining thrilling rides with story and drama. Space Mountain, an incredible race through the galaxy. Star Tours, a zoom through space on a runaway star speeder. And on Splash Mountain, you hold on for dear life as you ride a log flume down a raging river. Now, to create a great attraction, Disney's Imagineers needed a great idea. 
One way of uh, looking at a blank piece of paper is it's the most frightening thing in the world because there's nothing on it and you have to put a mark on it. Another way, and the way we try to get people to think around uh, Imagineering, is that a blank piece of paper is the most exciting thing in the world because there's nothing on it. And you can let your imagination fly in any direction. And that's what happened with the Tower of Terror. Uh, once we really honed in on, on how we were going to do this attraction and then uh, came up with the idea of linking it to Rod Serling's great stories, uh, The Twilight Zone. I think that was the magic that brought it all together because uh, it gave us a whole framework to hang uh, all the ideas on. Once they had the concept, it was time to add a compelling story. Rod Serling every week said he unlocked the door to another dimension, to the fifth dimension. So we thought, we'll take you there. This is something he couldn't do. He, he showed stories about this place. But we thought, if we could actually put you in the Twilight Zone, this would be something unique. Invariably, the stories dealt with ordinary people in ordinary situations that have an extraordinary thing happen to them. So this idea of walking into a hotel and confronting an elevator that takes you to another dimension, that that's the twist that provides us uh, a, um, a way, a doorway into the Twilight Zone. We also know that most of the people visiting the Disney MGM Studios are staying in the hotels and facing elevators and having this experience every day. So we wanted to twist that little common experience of theirs, um, a device you know, known to be used on the Twilight Zone, and make that the basis, you know, the starting point of this supernatural story. So it just fits in so nicely with the themes that Rod Serling dealt with consistently. Now, after you've got your story, you want to bring it to life, give it some soul and energy, and see what you're getting into. Now, that's where the storyboard artists come in. They are the middlemen between legend and execution. My job here at Imagineering is a show designer. And what we do mostly are, are drawings, paintings, storyboards, models, whatever it takes to get the concept and communicate it across. The creative team uh, in the beginning of Tower of Terror had dozens of brainstorming sessions. During those sessions, when we're talking and having discussions, I'm sitting with a sketch pad making roughies trying to bounce these ideas back off visually to the people at the table and to put it in a form that uh, is a shorthand, a visual shorthand that we can reference later. One of the guiding intentions behind the attraction was that we wanted to reflect the opulence of 1939 Hollywood, but show it in a state of neglect show it in a state of disrepair. If you came into a once elegant room, you should now be able to smell the dust and, and mustiness of it. Uh, there should be signs of wear and tear, a patina that had grown with age on something that was once very, very shiny, very glorious. One of the most satisfying things for me as a designer on the project is to see it go from concept discussions to all kinds of sketches and paintings, to seeing it become a real environment that people can walk through, that you can see their expressions, uh, enjoying it and experiencing uh, this story. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror isn't only Walt Disney World's newest and tallest landmark. It's an absolute work of art and the ultimate multimedia thrill attraction. It's almost 200 feet tall and they used over 3 million pounds of steel, over 145,000 cubic feet of concrete, and 27,000 roof tiles to build it. 10, 9, start. The biggest uh, challenge we had on this project was developing uh, a, an, a 
traction that was going to push the technological limits of what we know as a, the attraction business today. One of the most interesting challenges of building an attraction for Disney is that we try so hard to make everything look like it's not. Um, we, we build a brand new facility, and then we come in right behind it, and we try to make it look 65 years old. Coming up, your very own heart-stopping drop from the 13th floor as you experience the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Florida's Walt Disney World. There's more new to do in all three theme parks this summer. The Magic Kingdom, Scream Down the World's Steepest Bloom Ride, Splash Mountain. Epcot 94, see and touch all the newest video games, electronics, cars, and computers before anyone else at Interventions. The Disney MGM Studios, now twice as big. Let the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror drop you 13 frightening floors. Don't miss any of it. Call 407-W-DISNEY now. See this cool new insect repellent? It's Cutter Pleasant Protection. It's the first mm, clear gel, so it feels cool, smells awesome and it makes you invisible to mosquitoes. So get Cutter Plus and Protection and be invisible to bugs. You think home improvement stores are only for those who got A in shop? Get hip to the square. Builder Square is also for those who got A in home economics. Three million items, all value priced for every home repair and home decorating job imaginable. Get a great square deal on a Malibu light set. Includes four-tier lights, cable, and power pack. This week only at Builder Square. We'll get you squared away. Hi, I'm Jim, and this is Guy. But this is no ordinary guy. This is a guy who works at Cash and Carry, which means he's a guy who will do anything for you while you're shopping. Hi, Clarence. Because he knows that your satisfaction is all that matters. In fact, you could say that uh, Guy will jump through hoops for you. Even flaming ones. What a guy, huh? Cash and carry's working hard to keep you coming back. Don't try this at home. Ooh. The critics think that Shell's seafood swims in praise so often, we let them write this commercial. Shell's, just good seafood, nothing to mask the freshness. We were astounded by the number of shrimp. Low-cost seafood at high quality, cooked to perfection. You get fresh food and friendly folks as well as low prices and big helpings. Shells is Florida's seafood sensation. Shells voted the Suncoast's number one seafood restaurant the past four years in a row. The problem with most bug sprays is they stink. But now there's a powerful bug killer. Yee! That smells great. Hot shot and a fresh floral scent. Tough on bugs? Hmm, easy on you. Scary, isn't it? You know, it's amazing how much work goes into creating something designed to scare the wits out of you. So how would you like to be among the first to experience the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror? It officially opens to guests here at the Disney MGM Studios later this month. You can enter to win passes to Disney MGM Studios for your free ride on the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. To enter, send us a postcard with your name, address, and phone number. Mail your entry to the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, P.O. Box 42011, St. Petersburg, zip code 33742. Get your entry in by July 19th. Ten families will have ten chances to win on Tampa Bay's 10. I'll be back later. Now let's see how this amazing attraction works. The Disney prop department and set dressers made everything look just like it did the last night this hotel was open. There are real letters in the mailboxes. Hmm. Did you know that in 1939, a stamp was only two cents? Hey, it really rings. <laughs> you rang, sir. 
Uh, I was just playing with the bell. Sorry. <clears throat> that couldn't be the same bellman that... No. <laughs> ah, well, hey, look at this. This is the same pen the guests use to sign in. Hmm. Wonder what's in here. This place is really starting to spook me. Part of the challenge of working on the interior of the Tower of Terror was not only creating a time period, but capturing it a short while after it had been built and frozen in a moment in time as everyone vanished. So throughout the lobby, we have little stories that can be seen and are told through a matter of props and set dressings of what people were doing at that moment. In researching the time period, we had to really uncover what was popular at the time and what people likely would have been doing in that hotel when it finally shut down. Right here. See how it's set up? What we're trying to capture in this scene is a Mahjong game in progress, which was very popular at the time. And we have a coffee set up. We have a set of flowers that was delivered with it that has long been dead. All of the lighting fixtures in the Tower of Terror that were provided for us by Character Lighting were acquired from a building of similar size, age, and style as our hotel here. The 1920s pattern on the tapestry was our guide for the rest of the colors in the room. At the end of the sofa, we had a visitor in from France with his French-English translation book um, for some of the harder words in his new American newspaper. There was a lot of activity that last day in 1939. We had a very wealthy person checking in at the time with a very swank set of luggage. He has just signed in the registration book and is now leaving a note at the registration desk telling of a friend arriving later and to please hold their room. Uh, another guest had just checked in and has obviously come in from a much colder climate. He's taken off his overcoat and hat. He's already received his key and newspaper in the hotel, has filled out his Hollywood postcards to send off to others out of town. Picture, if you will, a group of ordinary high school kids. They're out for a night of fun at the Disney MGM Studios. Little do they know, they're about to be thrust into the darkest corners of their imaginations to become players in their very own episode of The Twilight Zone. Like all those brave enough to enter the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, these guests will be retracing the footsteps of those faithful five who disappeared long, long ago. But beware. Once those doors close, there's no escape except through the fifth dimension. That took the smirks off their faces, and it's only the beginning. It's a long way down, but they'll be all right. That thing was just inspected in 1939. Submitted for your approval, back in 1939, five people took this same elevator and were never heard from again. <laughs> but of course, that's just a silly legend. I can't wait to talk to these guys and ask them what they thought. Going up. I don't think so. More of the making of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror when we return. You'll taste seven kinds of fruit in Hawaiian punch. Seven kinds of fruit in Hawaiian punch. Look what's here. Double C Hawaiian punch. Vitamin C plus calcium. As much calcium as half a serving of milk. 
So when it comes to nutrition, we're leaps and bounds above ordinary food drinks. Hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. Double C Hawaiian Punch. Packs a healthier punch. For that one-of-a-kind true taste. Yeah, we're on a fixed income, and they really fixed it good. So we don't travel as much. That means we don't get to see the grandkids as often. We've tightened up our budget. Now, if we could just figure out how to lower our grocery bill. It would be nice to see more of the grandkids. Four months ago, this dog's best friend won a Florida Lotto jackpot. Money hasn't changed us. I still take him for his walks. Yeah, yeah. Hello to you too, friend. We still see the same old friends. Only changes. I've got so many options now. <laughs> Some days, I don't know where to go first. Take a shot at this week's jackpot. Lotto. It won't change your life. Just the way you live it. Decisions, decisions. Denny's Original Grand Slam Breakfast is now just $1.99. $1.99? Are you out of your mind? Crazy. You get two eggs, two fluffy hotcakes, two bacon, and two sausages for just $1.99. $1.99? Are you out of your mind? The Grand Slam, the most famous cook-to-order breakfast in America, just $1.99. They usually don't make mistakes here at Lanny's. Denny's. No mistake. At participating Denny's, the Grand Slam is just $1.99. Just $1.99. $1.99? Are you out of your mind? The Original Grand Slam for $1.99. How long can this last? I've been on Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. You know, they're all thrilling in their own way, but let me tell you, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror is something else. I mean, how can you be in control when you're falling 13 stories into the fifth dimension? See for yourself beginning this month when the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror opens. And if you're one of the lucky ones, you'll get a free ride on the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Here's another look on how to enter, so get your postcards in for your chance to win free passes to the Disney MGM Studios. 10 families, 10 chances to win on Tampa Bay's 10. Now let's get back to Kirk Cameron one last time. Thanks for being with us on this special evening. I'll see you later on 10 News at 11. Now let's catch up with Kirk. So what have we learned? That Disney knows what they're doing when it comes to giving you the thrill of a lifetime? Well, yes, but we've always known that. What we didn't know is that when you get into an elevator, the floor you choose is not necessarily the floor you end up on. And the next time you need a hotel reservation, if you want an experience that you'll never forget, make sure the hotel you choose is the four-star rated Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror opens July 22nd. Production vehicles provided by National Car Rental, the official car rental company of the Walt Disney World Resort. Green means go.